Right now on Fox 28 News, the country of Lebanon has recently been associated with the ongoing civil war in neighboring Syria. But since a Cedar Rapids family was arrested for allegedly trying to ship weapons to Lebanon, it has sparked some fear right here in our own backyard. Fox 28 News reporter Dora Miller joins us now with a look into why some say the suspects may have chosen Lebanon and how it affects us. Well, Scott and Tiffany, experts we spoke with say they think more than likely the suspects had family or friends that are involved in the fighting in Syria. Here's the good news, though. They say people here don't have anything to worry about. For four years, the civil war in Syria has raged on, killing more than 200,000 people. According to University of Iowa lecturer Mission Nicholas Grossman, try, the fighting has even forced people them. out of the country. There are currently over a million Syrian refugees in Lebanon. Uh, which makes up about 20-something percent of the population. Although the war is overseas, after Tuesday's arrest of four people accused of illegally shipping weapons and ammunition to Lebanon, we're finding out there are connections to the Middle East right in our backyard. They would be either connected to in some manner or just sympathizers with one of the groups that are fighting in Syria. Grossman says the suspects probably had ties to the country. Even court documents state the suspects made frequent trips to Lebanon. Aid organizations, which uh, what the four people arrested in Cedar Rapids were trying to mask it as aid and ship it uh, along with other aid is a good way to try to sneak things by. And there's food, clothing, uh, medicine, or other medical supplies. So they want to get that in quickly, and so people can also sneak weapons in. With more details still left to uncover, Grossman says he can only speculate why they would want to ship weapons to people already in a war zone. A lot of these groups are outgunned, and if they support one of them, if they believe in the cause of one of them, especially if they have friends or family who are fighting for one of them, then they would want to be able to help them fight as opposed to get killed. Grossman says we should be careful not to label this terrorism. The suspects didn't hurt anyone and they weren't involved in terroristic acts. They are being charged with conspiracy and illegally shipping firearms. Three of the defendants will have their detention hearings tomorrow. Dora Miller, Fox 28 News.